Mercury is out of bounds and will stay that way until about the 21st of December. So we have a month of an exceptional level of Mercury energy. Out of bounds is an unusual condition where the normal transit direction of any planet is a little bit eccentric. It goes further away from declination. And uh, when Mercury goes out of bounds, uh, it's exaggerating the mercurial principle rather much. And this can be positive and this can be negative. When it's positive, you'll have an emphasis on such skills as we associate with Mercury, such as writers and poets and singers and those kind of people have got a certain kind of um, way with communicating that's different. And this is the essential kind of message, I think, that if one has a Mercury out of bounds or one is going through a period when Mercury is out of bounds, as we are together now, then we're going to see some something different about how communications are expressed and addressed. That difference could be that we have an unusually high regard for truth. But equally, the opposite is true, where you have somebody like Donald Trump, who's got a Mercury out of bounds, not known for truth-telling. And you could have um, Mercury out of bounds being associated with genius. This idea of thinking out of the box is, is exactly what out of bounds means. And you have um, Kepler. And um, there's another scientist I'm thinking of, um, Louis Pasteur. So you have that principle of being able to think differently from how everybody else thinks. So looking forward to the next month, we might come up with a new perception, a new way of seeing things that we haven't really thought about before. And it's likely to come from somebody who's a genius or that kind of outrageous um, ideas maker, uh, a trendsetter, anyone who actually pushes forward the boundaries of what is considered appropriate thinking. And uh, it's very often in the in the uh, musical world that you see this. Um, Elvis Presley had it, Frank Sinatra, Kylie Minogue. Um, there are some others that, um, let me just have a look, Dolly Parton. Um, she was another expresser of something that hadn't been expressed before in the country music scene. She was doing something that hadn't really been done before. Same with Frank Sinatra. He was definitely new in the way he presented himself. Certainly Elvis was, of course. So you've got this idea of newness of thinking, a different way of thinking. Now that's possibly going to be seen as bizarre. And we might have some ideas which are just not workable or not timely. The idea um, with, with this Mercury Out of Bounds is sometimes somebody who has, um, whose ideas have uh, the time of their ideas have not yet come. Um, they're not ready for it yet. Cer certain people have said things which later are just totally obvious and absor absorbed into the culture. Uh, when they said them, they, they were like really radical. And you have such musicians as the Rolling Stones and the Beatles who are doing that generally at that general time um, when we were all going through this new way of thinking. And I'm not saying that that was a period of Mercury out of bounds. I'm just saying that that's an example of what we might expect during the next month. Don't ever stay out of bounds for very long, Mercury. So we're only talking about a few weeks. Now, in your own relations to other people, you might find you have to guard against hyperbole and exaggeration and, and just bigging things up. And again, I refer to Trump. Everything he said was a bit bigger than the truth and and a bit better and, and like you know really exaggerated and and our inclination to do that is very strong during this period, so we have to be a bit careful about that um the The downside of a mercury in um, at a bounds position is that we don't relate very well to 
common thought. So we don't really necessarily communi communicate clearly. Um, there could even be a speech impediment, or you might find that the language that you're speaking is different from the language of the people that you're speaking to. And that could be on the one level that you're in a foreign country or something similar, but it could be on the other level that they just don't get you. You don't get them. You 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 know you're in a situation where you're misunderstood, and misunderstanding. Um, so so that's going to be the month ahead where the effort to be understood may not work very well. We we just might not be able to get our point across, and it it, it could be worth waiting a little bit longer before you actually come up with something of importance that you want to communicate, because. Uh, it's not guaranteed. However, of course, the energy of coming up with new ideas will be met b by the appetite of people to, to listen to new ideas. So it kind of works both ways. Presenting a new idea um, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be understood immediately. So you might actually be misunderstood now, but only later come to, come to validate that what you thought was, was important. Um, obsessions are associated with Mercury out of bounds. Um, hearing voices. Um, and picking up subtle signals is not an easy thing. It's, it's, it's you know, that, that's one thing that's missing. Um, however, in the positive side, you have um, eloquence and charisma. Um, and also, you're very often delivering surprising messages. So this, this whole thing of um, using different media of communication and presenting different content, um, speaking to different people who don't necessarily understand you, the whole thing of communicating is going to be taken to a different level. And it could be um, that you're, you're going to need to try a little bit harder to understand what's going on. One of the uh, the beautiful things with Mercury in, in this position is that its access to Uranus is closer for obvious reasons. Uranus is the outer planets and it tries to communicate its, its wisdom to us. and We just don't get it. It's too much for us. And um, with a Mercury um, aligned with Uranus in your chart, then you can. You, know, you can just draw down this energy of higher intelligence. And I think that kind of thing is also something that we can expect with an out-of-bounds Mercury. In a sense, you can see why Mercury out-of-bounds is going to be closer to Uranus than normal. And so this is why it's associated with genius, probably. Um, so the ideas that you have during this next month may well be something to record, um, to write it down, to make sure that you don't lose it which we very often do with Uranus um, ideas. And therefore, um, you know, you could prepare for that now by just allowing yourself to, to get into free thinking. This is a good time to open up any facility of being a writer or a public speaker, you know, or any kind of communicator whose job includes introducing your audience to a new idea. And um, good writing usually can do that. So if you have the interest to become a communicator, then this is a really good time to set the ball rolling because whatever you start now will be started during um, an out-of-bounds Mercury period. And therefore, that's its birth moment. And you can expect originality of thought to be um, present within that particular project.